Do you know? Hackers use permutation of letters to crack the passwords and it's called brute force algorithm. And even in image and pattern recognition, permutations are used. This is a very interesting topic, so let's get started. Permutation. When you hear the term, you need to understand that it is arrangement. That is, suppose we have three objects A, B and C. Permutation means that in how many ways can we arrange these objects. So let's try to list out the different possible arrangements. The first A, B, C. Now here I'll fix A, then let me swap B and C. So the second possibility is A, C and B. Then B, A, C. Similarly B, C, A. Then C, A, B then C, B, A. So these are the six possible arrangements with three objects. Now it is very difficult to list out every possible arrangement whenever you see a set of n objects. So there is one general formula to identify the number of arrangements. That is, suppose we have n objects, something like ABC. So let's assume these are the n objects. Then we can write permutations as n factorial, where factorial means that n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 so on till you get it as 1. For example, in the above case n is 3. It implies that permutations are 3 factorial. So 3 into 2 into 1 which is 6. It's always a good practice to memorize the factorials at least till 5. So let me list out them. 1 factorial is 1 then 2 factorial it's 2 into 1 that is 2, 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1, 6, 4 factorial is, this is 24 and 5 factorial is 120. Now what if instead of n objects, we are asked to take only few objects, something like suppose I have A, B, C, D, E and F, that is n is 6 objects and suppose the question says, what is the permutation of two objects? Though we have six, we are supposed to take only two and after the two we need to do the arrangement. So this two what we are selecting can be taken as variable r. So when we have n objects and out of that r we are selecting, the permutation will be n p r which is n factorial by n minus r factorial where n is the total objects and r is the selected objects. For example sake let's try this here from 6 objects we are supposed to select 2. So this can be written as 6p2 which is 6 factorial by 4 factorial that is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and if you carefully observe this all will be cancelled. So this is basically 6 into 5 that is 30. On similar lines when we expand this this is basically n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 so on we just expand that till n minus r plus 1. This is an important formula you need to memorize this. Now with this basic understanding, let's solve few basic questions. Here we have type 1 based on the basic formulae. How many different ways can the letters of the word pride be arranged? The letters are P, R, I, D, E. Therefore, N is 5. Now in this, they did not say anything about the selection. They just told us to arrange all the letters. Therefore, the permutation is N factorial, that is 5 factorial and we already know 5 factorial is 120 therefore option B. Here is another question. How many ways can three fruits can be arranged from a set of five different fruits? So the set has five fruits and the selection is three fruits and these three fruits have to be arranged. We already know for this case permutation is NPR. So here N is 5 and r is 3 therefore 5p3 that is 5 factorial by 5 minus 3 that is 2 factorial that is 5 into 4 into 3. Now let's get into type 2 questions 
that is problems based on permutation of similar objects. For this, let us assume we have a set of objects where few objects are repeating something like A, 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 B, 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 and C, 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 then D, D. Here is a total number of objects N is 12 in that A is 4, then B is repeating 3 times, C is repeating 3 times, and D is repeating 2 times. So, whenever few objects in a set are repeating, the permutation will be n factorial upon whichever object repeats that we need to divide. So, A is repeating 4 times, so that we divide, then B is also repeating, then C is repeating, D is repeating. Here A means number of repetitions of A or C is number of repetitions of C. To understand this, let us do the above example. They have given 12 objects, so n is 12, so 12 factorial upon A is repeating 4 times, so 4 factorial, B is repeating 3 times, 3 factorial, C is again 3 times, 3, three factorial and D is 2 times, 2 factorial. That is how we do it. Now, let us take one question to understand this. In how many ways can the letters of the word rumor be arranged? The letters are R U M O U R. In this, you can clearly see R is repeating how many times? Two times. Is there any other letter? Yes, we have U also. Then U is there two times. Then how about the number of objects? N is 6. So the arrangements or the permutations are n factorial by whichever letter repeats we need to take that. So R is repeating, so R factorial and U is repeating, so U factorial. So this is 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial. And when we solve this, this is 180. Therefore, option A. Let us do one more. In how many different ways can the letters of the word cycle be arranged? So, let us write the letters C, Y, C, L, E. So, here the number of letters are 5. And are there any letters which are repeating? Yes, C is repeating twice. So, C is 2 times. Now, I can write the arrangements as permutations equals n factorial by whichever letter repeats that factorial. So, C factorial. So, this is 5 factorial upon 2 factorial. That is 120 by 2. Now, let us get into type 3. That is problems based on objects with fixed position. Something like, suppose I have objects A, B, C, D, E. Now, if the question says A and D should be at extreme position. By this, what they mean is, when we have four different, here N is 5. So, basically there will be 5 slots. In that, they are asking us to fix A and D at the extreme. So, A can be here or here. Or the other possibility is, D can be here and A can be here. Now, these are fixed. Other than this, the rest of the letters that is B, C and E can be placed in any of these three slots or any of these three slots. Now, we already know three objects permutation is three factorial and here also it is three factorial and because there are two cases, we just add them three factorial plus three factorial. This is six plus six that is 12. That is how we do it. Now, let us take few questions. Here is the question. In how many ways the letters of the word sacred can be arranged so that bubbles come together? The letters are S, A, C, R, E and D. In this, let us separate the vowels. Vowels we have A and E. Apart from that, the rest of the letters are S, C, R and D. Now, they are saying that A and E should be together and the rest can be taken separate. So, this is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. So, if I assume A and E as one object and the rest together will be 5. So, these can be arranged in 5 factorial ways. But A, E, they did not specify the order. So, it could be even E and A also available. Therefore, A and E and E and A. Two possibilities. So, multiply this with 2. 
this is 120 into 2 that is 240 that is option a let's try one more in how many different ways can the numbers 2 5 6 9 7 4 be arranged using each digit only once in each arrangement such that the digit 6 and 5 are at the extreme ends in each arrangement so the numbers are 2 5 6 9 7 4 in that they are saying 6 and 5 are at the extreme so it could be 6 5 or 5 6 apart from that 1 2 3 4 slots will be available which can be filled with either 2 or 9 or 7 or 4 so here we can have four factorial ways of filling these four slots and even in the next one four factorial ways so this is 24 and this is also 24 together it will be 48 therefore option is a combinations have a wide variety of applications like decorating the bouquet with different flowers or assigning jobs to the employees or even choosing colors for a painting this is a very interesting topic so let's get started combinations when you hear this term, you should understand that it is a selection. Selection means, suppose we have three objects, so A, B and C. And if you are asked to select two objects, probably you will take it as A, B or B, C or C, A. But if I say arrangement, then you would have done A, B and B, A for B, C, it is C, B for C, A, it is A, C. So these are six possible arrangements. But when it comes to a selection, AB or BA, these both mean the same. So we take this as one possibility. So out of BC, CB, we can just take one. And out of AC and CA, we can just take one. So in this case, it is one plus one plus one. There are only three possible selections. Now mathematically, we write this as N, C, R, where N is the total objects. And R is the selected object. And C represents that it's basically a combination. And this can be written as NPR by R factorial. What we mean by this is take all the possible arrangements in that just divided by internal arrangements. So B A A B, this we take it as one, and other possible internal arrangements are divided. So when we expand this formula, this is N factorial by N minus R factorial whole by R factorial this is n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial this is important you need to memorize this n c r is n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial okay now let's do a few basic questions on this let's get into type 1 based on the basic formula how many ways can three letters be chosen from the word black B L A C K. Here the number of objects or the letters are 5 and the question says that we need to select 3. So R is 3 and the formula for combinations is it is N C R and we already know N C R is N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So if I use this formula, we can expand this as 5C3, that is 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 factorial. That is 5 into 4 by 2 into 1, which is 10. Therefore, the option is B. Let's try one more question. How many ways can a group of 5 men and 2 women be made out of total of seven men and three women so here there are two type of people one is men and the one is women and the total number of men and women are men i think they are seven and women they are three and we are choosing few that selection is from men we need to suppose to select five and from women we need to select two so let's do this so out of seven we need to select five so this i can add as 7c5 and out of 3 women we need to select only 2 so 3c2 
these two happen independently so we can just multiply them this is before i expand let me write down the formula for reference ncr is n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial therefore we can write this as 7 factorial by 5 factorial into 2 factorial into 3 factorial by 2 factorial into 1 factorial this is 7 into 6 by 2 into 1 into 3 into 2 by 2 into 1 when you solve this this turns out to be 63 therefore option is b sometimes questions are asked with some keywords like at least uh, not more than or at most so whenever you see these kind of keywords we have a method to solve this so let's learn the technique of solving these kind of questions now let's get into type 2 questions in combinations where in the question you will be seeing the term at least therefore i am writing this type as question based on at least clause something like if i have some letters so p q r s and t here the number of objects or the letters is 5 and you might come across a question some which says like this number of ways to select at least three letters when they say at least it is not just three it's actually either three or four or even five because the total number of letters are five so whenever we need to solve this kind of a question we just take this one as 5c3 this is 5c4 and this is 5c5 and these are between one event to other event it is or so basically we add them that's how we do it and to understand this let's take one question a box has four marbles with different colors find the number of ways to select at least three marbles pretty direct question here n is four and we are supposed to select few marbles and they are saying at least three that means either it is three or even four now to solve this let's write the formula combinations or the selections is nc r1 plus nc r2 because there are two possibilities when we substitute the values it is 4c3 plus 4c4 this is 4 factorial by 3 factorial into 1 factorial plus 4 factorial by 4 factorial remember this whenever you see ncn it is 1 so directly this we would have written as 1 anyways this is 4 plus 1 that is 5 that is the answer let's do one more a committee of three members is to be formed out of three men and four men in how many different ways can it be done so that at least one member is women so here the total men is three and the total women is four but in the selection they have given a clause they said that there should be at least one woman in the three selection so the selection is three but with a clause so let me write down the possibilities so we can say it as three men and one woman or one man and two women or it is three women i think these are the only three possibilities so this together i can say it as from so from three men we are choosing two men and whenever we say and we need to multiply from four women we are selecting one the next from three men we need to select one man and for four women it is two and the last one from four women we are selecting three now because it is either this or this or this so we are saying or therefore we need to add so this will be 12 and this will be 18 and this will be 4 when we add them this turns out to be 34 and that is option a so that's the end of permutation and combination this is a very tricky topic so try to solve more number of questions